everybody welcome back to the channel it is ryan from movies with ryan and in today's video we're going to take a little bit different look at my collection now in the last couple weeks these two guys tim talks talkies and uh kenny from mid-level media has put out videos about double dipping and it's really got me thinking about my collection for me personally i try not to double dip uh one because of limited room but two I don't really delve into like special features a whole lot and all that. So to have one copy of something and then another copy that may have some other extra feature usually doesn't do it for me. Usually my deal is since I am a steelbook collector, it has to do with packaging, maybe an upgraded steelbook or just something unique. And that is what causes me to double dip. Now, I do not consider upgrading a DVD to a Blu-ray or Blu-ray to a 4K and having both of them for a limited amount of time before one has gotten rid of, double dipping. So we're gonna go through my collection. We're gonna look at some things. Um, first thing we're gonna look at is Blu-ray to 4K upgrades. Now, in the Steelbook world, of course, Blu-ray got Steelbooks for a long time. And here recently, Lionsgate and other Warner Brothers and other labels have been putting out 4K Steelbooks. And most of the time, they are different. Um, we'll take an example here. Um, this first one is a Zavi exclusive Blu-ray of Unbreakable. I like to get in the way. But then I had to buy the 4K when it came out here in the States. So I have the Blu-ray and the 4K. Also, special packaging, Target. Had this lenticular Total Recall Terminator 2 steelbook that I had to have because this thing looked really cool. And I have it upside down. There we go. But they came out with the 4K. I had to buy the T2 4K. Even though the transfer doesn't look good, this steelbook for collecting purposes is just awesome. Again. Blu-ray release, Leon, the professional, the pop art still book. This is a cool still book. This one I may get rid of one day. Just because in a future video you may see something else pop up. So I'll have three copies of Leon. But again, they came out with the 4K of Leon, the professional. And I had to pick this one up. And I must say the 4K looks fantastic and it sounds great. So I double dipped. Even more double dipping. If you know anything about Shout Factory, you know some of their Steelbook Blu-ray releases were very, very hard to get and fetched a lot of money on the aftermarket. Army of Darkness being one of them. This was the third copy I had ordered off eBay to finally get one that didn't have damage on it. Uh, first one got destroyed in the mail. Second one that was sent to me wasn't even the one that was shown in the picture. It had a hole through the front of it. Still in the plastic. But I got my third one, loved it. Of course, what did they do this year? They brought out the 4K. I love Army of Darkness. I honestly I haven't seen one and two of the Evil Deads completely. I've seen parts of them. But Army of Darkness was really my introduction to Ash. Love this movie. And I had to upgrade 4K. Plus, it has both the directors and the extended cuts in here. I had to have it. Again, going back to Zavi. Zavi exclusive of the Hurt Locker. I love the steel book. It's probably one of my favorite steel books I own. There he is on the back. And I just, this is just a very great picture of a great moment in the movie. But of course, Lionsgate kills it. And they bring out the 4K of it. 4K looks great. Plus, one of the most sneakiest, coolest things that, um, honestly, I thought was just great how they bootlegged the 4K and the Blu-ray disc to make it look like something the kid would sell. Awesome. Great little details like that will cause me to double dip. And finally, one of the really last 4K to Blu-ray upgrades I'm going to talk about in this pile. Dread. Now, this is the Mondo 3D Blu-ray version of Dread, and I'm not going to get rid of this. This 
of course, is like the Lionsgate one. This is just a super awesome steelbook. It's got, of course, the slip on there and dread. But again, Lionsgate, dread, 4K. And one thing about these, little side ramp. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this one to show up. Actually, I'm going to be honest. I don't even think mine actually says it. No, it does not on this one. So a lot of the Lions Gates. This is Lions Gate, correct? Yes. Here in the grab hole to split the steel book, they've been putting first pressing on here. Now, when I first heard about that and I first seen that, I was upset. Um, steel books are meant to be a collectible, limited product when these are put out. And when they put first pressing on there, it just immediately took me to vinyl. And oh, great. They're going to repress. They're going to repress. They're going to repress. They're going to reprint these. Everything's going to lose value. That first pressing means nothing on a steel book. But then I started thinking about it. They reprinted some other steel books like the Spider-Man steel book. This got a reprint and a couple other things. And other collectors were able to beat scalpers and get a hold of them for a cheaper price. So looking at it in that light, it's okay. Still kind of irks me. That's good. Uh, next, we'll move on to some other things. Um, things I own like in special packaging. And then they came out in a different type of packaging. Uh, one thing, we'll go with the second site in Bruges, Collector's Edition. Love this movie. Great dark comedy starring Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson and uh, Ralph Fiennes. I picked this up and what did Kino do like two months later? They put out a 4K. I thought about putting this 4K in here, but I keep my second site stuff completely separate from my slips and all that stuff. So I figured, what the heck? I've got room for one movie on the shelf. I'll keep it that away. So that's one thing I will double dip on. If I got a Super Collector's Edition and then they put out a 4K, this came with the slip and everything. If this didn't have the slip, I would probably just put this in here. Since it does, I double dipped. Another type of double dipping I do. I got the steelbook for this, Battle Royale. Now this is just the first movie, and I believe there's three movies total. Three or four. But I love this movie. If you've never seen Battle Royale, Japanese school kids forced to fight for their life on an island, last man standing wins. Hunger Games, Squid Game, both based on this. But I was out at my Mega Replay, and they had this for cheap because it was Region B, and they took it in, and it has all the Battle Royales in it, and it's in the nice collector's edition. And I keep all my arrow box sets in a separate area. So I figured, what the heck, I'd keep the cool steel book because I really love the steel book. And I've also got the complete Battle Royale collection. That's another reason to double dip. Same thing goes for this. Got this awesome Zavi exclusive Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas steel book. I'm not going to get rid of this. But again, at my Mega Replay, I found this for super cheap. I think I paid $15 for this. The Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas Collector's Edition. Uh, Blu-ray. So you know what I could do? Let's see how this looks in here. I could easily slip this steel book in here. Now my only problem with it is this is not an arrow steel book. Now if this was an arrow steel book, like I did with the Wild Things, um, I bought the Wild Things standard 4K box set, and then Zavi had the arrow on sale for like discounted super cheap, so I bought it and stuck it in there. I probably won't do that with this, just because this steel book is not an arrow steel book. But again, I found this cheap. It's got some extra bonus stuff in there that's not available in the single Blu-ray that I have. And I guess I said I don't like extras, but this has got um, some deleted scenes and some other stuff, behind the scenes stuff with uh, Hunter S. Thompson that's not available in my steel book. So I picked it up. More packaging. I've got the Fly Firefly tri Trilogy. Um, you know, the House of Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, and Three from Hell. Now, they've put out a Three from Hell steelbook since. I did not pick it up. Recently, they put out a House of Thousand Corpses steelbook. Looks great. But I already have this. I didn't want to pick up another steelbook. I'm running out of room in steelbooks, so I'm trying to be picky. 
but they came out with this beautiful looking box set and I had to pick this up. I really hope we get the Devil's Reject in this way too. This box set is just beautiful. There's all sorts of cool stuff in here. You know, we got a poster, storyboard, pictures, the 20th anniversary uh, Blu-ray. I had to pick this up. This is just going to look good on a shelf. I'll probably end up displaying it like this, but House of Thousand Corpses is my favorite Rob Zombie movie. And I'd rather have this over that still book, but I already own it. So I double dipped. Moving along. Stephen Chow, my fourth favorite martial artist, does this movie called Shaolin Soccer. Now, this is a Nova Media release. It is just a standard Blu-ray and an Ambre case. Love this movie. It's great. It's about um, Shaolin monks playing soccer and they get some martial arts stuff. It's really good. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. But then I was able to pick up a super limited and pretty rare Zabby exclusive steelbook for Shaolin Soccer. What did I do? I double dipped. And the reason I haven't sold this one, um, other than selling it like online to a specific like boutique Blu ray Facebook page or something like that, just selling this to the average Joe, they're not going to pay anything for it. And I know it's worth a little bit more than what I sh would get. So I just haven't sold it yet. Um, maybe one day, but for now, I've double dipped. Speaking of Stephen Chow, my favorite Stephen Chow movie, Kung Fu Hustle, the Best Buy Pop Art Limited Edition. Well, it's not limited edition, but it's limited. Um, Kung Fu Hustle. And of course, if you've seen my unboxing here recently on the What the Boutique, What the Boutique, you just seen me get this ultra limited 10 out of 50 UHD Club out of China. Kung Fu Hustle box set. And I must say, this box set's awesome. Of course, everything's going to fall out of it. But you've seen me open it up. If you haven't checked it or watched that video, go back in my videos and check it out. Not wanting to close now. There we go. But Kung Fu Hustle, my favorite Stephen Chow movie. I had to double dip when I was going to get a Super Collector's Edition like that. Now they just need to come out of 4K, and I'll have three copies. Again, going back to that 4K, Blu-ray to 4K upgrade. The Vengeance Trilogy. Specifically, Old Boy. On Blu-ray, it's in the set. I love the set. And this was the only way you could get the complete set, really, without buying the Tartan Asian Extreme DVDs of the other two movies. All three of them, technically, but the other two movies. And the Blu-rays are hard to come by in the States. Um, I don't think any of them's actually had an American release. So you bought it this way. Had it. But what'd they do? They came out with an awesome 4K steelbook. In fact, they came out with two different 4K steelbooks. Both of them are awesome looking. I prefer this one more because the other one has like a character of um, Mensu. Or I forget what his name is in the movie. But um, this one just looks so much better, I think. And it's a 4K upgrade. I had to. This movie looks awesome in 4K. Let's move on to a, a different type of packaging. Um, one of, was this my favorite movie of 2021? I believe so. I think that's what was on my list. The Green Knight. Now, I own the regular standard A24 Blu-ray with the red slip. This is the German media book. And it is 4K. Of course, media books have pictures and all sorts of stuff in there. It's got a little essay, but unfortunately, it's all in German. But that's okay. This is an awesome-looking media book. There's the back of it. You can see him with his crown on fire in front of it. But again, let me check. Yes, this is also 4K. Zavi came out with her Zavi exclusive. Uh, this wasn't actually Zavi exclusive. Exclusive. I think this was European exclusive. Steelbook. Of course, you got the king on the front, the green knight on the back. Thank you, Tony, for getting this to me. But um, again, double dip. Media book, not really a big thing in the States. You got to cater to a special niche if you want to sell this to somebody. 
but I'm happy to have them both because these both look awesome. Um, let's move on to one of my favorite movies. How about we go with The Crow? Is that the exclusive still book? Go look this up online. See what it goes for now. I think I paid like $40 or $50 for this. I was happy at the time. It's got great resale value. Have we gotten a 4K of this yet? No. That's why I picked up the Japanese 4K remaster Blu-ray, which looks tons better than the standard American release Blu-ray. And it comes this nice little slip case. Got the nice art on it. It's got all the Japanese writing on the back. Why would I not double dip on my favorite movie? What I am looking for, though, is that retro VHS Blu-ray case with the retro VHS cover. If anybody's got it, wants to sell it to me, hit me up. I've been looking for it. That way I can have a trio of the crow. Uh, let's go. We got just a couple more titles left. Another double dip. This one, I will probably get rid of the Steelbook eventually. Um, the Steelbook's okay. I mean, it looks nice, but it's got a little dent here in the front. That is Drive. And it's just a standard Blu-ray. And I'll be honest, this is as plain as a steelbook as you can get. It is a pop art. It's got the plain pink inside. Nothing on the back. Don't really care for it. But of course, what did I buy? The beautiful Drive Limited Edition Second Sight 4K Collection. This thing is massive. It's beautiful. And it's great. One of my favorite movies. This thing looks Awesome in 4K. But again, double dipped. This will probably go bye-bye. Got two more things. Three more things, I'm sorry. One of my few... Actually, one of my two triple dips. Yeah, a triple dip. We'll just show all three of them up this time. Let's go this way. Let's go with 300. So... See, this is just the standard Blu-ray. This was my first Steelbook I bought of 300. Awesome front. You got King Leonidas there, all bloody with the background and all that. You got the Spartan helmet on the back. I love the Steelbook. The aesthetics of it is just awesome. But then they're out of Finland or Sweden. I don't remember. Um, they do a, a line of these Steelbooks that are minimalist. And I had to buy this. This thing just looks awesome. Basic 300 font. I love that font that they use for the movie. The helmet sitting there with the shadow on the black. And it's kind of hard to tell. But this is a nice multi-red cover. Plain back. But I had the 4K for it. It's got some inside art. And I put the 4K disc in there. I'm like, well, Ryan, why would you buy a third copy? Well, I'm on Reddit. And somebody had posted in the 4K subreddit a picture of stuff they had picked up. And I seen this box and I was like, what is that? I want to know what it is. And it is the HMV Store Exclusive Collector's Edition of 300. And it is a slip box. Again, that writing with the 300s in. You got 300 in the front with that same helmet. Got a little uh, box in here. It's got pictures and a booklet and stuff in there. It's got the 4K in here. And it's got back art. What I'm going to do is actually take this 4K out. And look at that. Slide it in there. So yes, I triple dipped, but I triple dipped specifically to do this. To combine two things. That is one reason I double dip as well. So there that goes. We'll set that off to the side. And the last two things. This next one I've owned on DVD. I've owned on Blu-ray. I've owned on a 4K collection. And then I upgraded to a 4K steelbook. Now, what was that you say? Let's go with the Lord of the Rings. So at one point, I actually had the DVD set, the 4K collection, and this collection. So it's technically a triple dip at the same time, but I got rid of the 4K collection. Now these are the extended, but these are as basic as you can get in these still books. It is just the movies. So why not 
keep the OG original DVDs that have both the theatrical and the extended cut. They have all the bonus material, all the appendices and everything on here. You know, these are the four or five disc. I think they're four disc collection that just has everything on it. And if I'm going to watch extras on something, Lord of the Rings is something I could dive into because the world is just so deep. There's so much to go with. So, double dip, Lord of the Rings. And finally, my second favorite movie of all time, Crow being my first. So, my second one, I've got four different copies of. First, I've got the FYE exclusive Scott Pilgrim versus the World Steelbook, regular Blu ray. I've got the Zavi exclusive standard Blu ray, awesome cover, Steelbook. I've got the Titan of Cult Steelbook. And then I've got the 4K Sign Museum. I think it's or sign works. I forget actually which one this is. Um, CX, whichever one CX is, special edition, 4K steelbook. Now the steelbook does look like the one that we got here in the states, but I figured what the heck, so I quadruple dipped on Scott Pilgrim versus the World, and I'm actually looking for one more steelbook. There is a blue steelbook that kind of looks like this, only it's turned sideways. So I'm looking for that one. And my holy grail, there is a Manta Lab, I believe, full slip pink box that I would love to have. I'm keeping an eye on them. So I may six tuplet dip on that one. I don't know. So in ending this, do I double dip? Yes. Do I prefer to double dip? No. Clean some of this up. I could probably get rid of a couple of these things. Like I talked through the video, I could probably get rid of the drive and a couple other things. But as long as I'm not triple, quadruple dipping on things, buying different slips and all that, I'm fine with that. I don't need 15 versions of the same movie. But I do like my art on my steelbooks. I do like my fancy packaging like Drive and uh, House of the Thousand Corpses and Battle Royale and stuff like that. So I do double dip here and there on some of my more favorite movies. Now, you, can you double dip? Do you double dip? Let me know down in the comments. Is it something you prefer to do? Is it just a strictly no-go in rules and you're collecting? Let me know. Now, Tim and uh, Kenny's videos, I'll link them down below if you want to watch them, hear their thoughts on their idea of double dipping. And that's it. That's going to do it for this week's video. Double dipping. Do you do it? Do you not? Let me know. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'm almost to 500. Uh, subscribers. I can't wait. If I do, I'm doing a live stream. There'll be giveaways, all that good stuff. So until I see you again, Ryan, Movies with Ryan, have a fantastic night.